You liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> you guys are ready. I'm also going to announce right now on the pre-stream podcast, the DSP, or I guess I should say, the Dark Side Phil, one year return to YouTube anniversary celebration. <clears throat> That's right. There's a special event coming up. Battle Duck says, I nearly fell off my chair. You shouldn't reveal yourself so suddenly. No wonder turtles keep crapping in here. <laughs> Sorry, I should have eased in. I should have, first I should have shown just my hand, right, on camera. And then slowly my whole arm starts to reveal itself on camera all the way up to the shoulder. And then all of a sudden, like, my ear and then maybe one eyeball pops over. Like, oh, and a slow reveal. A sl maybe a, sc a slow screen white. Because it's too much at once to just see all of me at once. I know you guys can't take it. it you know, it's overwhelming. I understand. <clears throat> what some people do, they take glasses, all right? And they put them on. They tape one eye of the glasses so they can only see me with one eye at a time. That way, it's slow. It's a slow immersion process. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, today... I would like to officially announce that in two weeks' time, that would be on Saturday, May 14th, okay? We're going to do something special here on stream. It is going to be the Dark Side Phil one-year return to YouTube anniversary celebration. And we're going to do some really special stuff on that day, including one of the things you guys are all waiting for, but we're going to do some extra special stuff on that day as well, and I will talk about that in just a moment, all right? Sandy, I would say, at this point, being back on YouTube wholeheartedly, I would say yes. I do enjoy being here on YouTube more than Twitch. To be on Twitch, you do get a lot of advantages. Number one, Twitch is known as the biggest video sharing, or excuse me, the, big, the biggest live streaming website in the world. That's where everyone goes to find people who are live streaming. The discoverability over there is much better than it is on YouTube. And the stream chat, <clears throat> in particular... The monetization of, say, subscriptions has better features. You know, things like channel points, um, being able to use emotes in other people's chats if you're a subscriber of someone else, etc. But the trade-off is that when you're on Twitch, you have to deal with complete unprofessionalism of the business itself. At any moment, they break their own terms of service and will suspend or, or, or punish you for things they don't even prove that you did. <clears throat> Essentially, it's like over there, it's a crapshoot. You could basically go under the radar and be lucky and, and work for years and years and have no problems. And then overnight, they shut you all down just because they feel like it. And who wants to work at a place like that, right? <laughs> Imagine if you were working at a job, an office job. And you're just sitting there. You're doing your job. You're getting paid. Everything's fine. And then after four and a half, five years, someone walks up to you and says, okay, you're out. Wait, what do you mean I'm out? Well, we did an investigation. We found out that you're doing stuff we don't like. You're out of here. Well, wait, what are you talking What stuff? What are you talking about? D bye. Wait, no, answer me. What did I do wrong? Nope, you're out. Bye. And they grab you and they throw you out on the street. That's Twitch. That's literally what happened to me a year ago. They just threw me out and said, oh, well, you want to make a living here? Too bad. Well, you could stay here if you want, but we're not going to pay you for the work. You can continue to do work if you'd like. That's fine. Stay here. Stay at your desk and keep working, but no more paychecks. Oh. But why? What did I do? Oh, we're not telling you. Get out, you know. Oh, okay. It's a great place to work, isn't it? So, it does suck, though, admittedly, because being on Twitch, you get the added exposure. You get the added views, right? You get a lot of added stuff, right? So, oh, someone just said they sent me a song. I didn't get it. When did you send the song? Meow says they sent me a song. When did you send it? Um, I didn't see it in my email. It's very possible that it hit my spam folder. Are you sure you sent it to darksidephil at hotmail.com? Because I did not see it. But if you could tell me when you sent it, maybe it did hit my spam folder and I can check. Because, I, I, you know, stay, stuff in spam folder stays for several days. Uh, yeah, please give me more uh, information. Uh, no, I was not banned multiple times from Twitch. I was never banned from Twitch. Not, not once. I was suspended a few times because their suspension process, again, is unprofessional and ridiculous. All of a sudden, you'll just be suspended. What did I do? What are you talking about? Isn't there it's supposed to be a stages of escalation process? There is, but they don't use it. <clears throat> anyway. Um, yes, that was the tip. I just said, uh, 
Meow had done a tip, a dollar fifty tip in app so they had submitted a song. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> that being said, I in the last year that I've basically worked on YouTube, right? There's a lot of advantages to being here. At the same time, there's a lot of disadvantages. It's kind of a trade-off. You know, on YouTube, you don't have to feel like you're work walking on eggshells. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm here doing stuff on YouTube, I don't have to be like, man, God forbid that I say something that sounds wrong and I didn't mean it that way, or someone clips a snippet of my stream or video and reposts it to represent something it's not and then tries to re false report me to YouTube. You know, people try that shit all the time. They, they false flag my videos. They try to report me. It doesn't work on YouTube. You don't, you know what I mean? It, you have to actually do something wrong to be punished on YouTube. And one thing I'm, I'm certainly happy to report, it seems that YouTube's copyright system has gotten at least a little better when it comes to the false stuff. The content ID system is still terrible, all right? But luckily, in the last year that I've been here on YouTube... Um, even playing games that I knew had copyrighted music in them, I didn't receive any copyright strikes, right? So that's a good thing, because at one point people were completely abusing Twitch's system, false flagging my streams, and they just granted every single false claim without even reviewing it. At one point, they, I'm not even kidding you, Twitch took down my stream, claiming I had violated someone's copyright for a game I wasn't even playing on the stream. They didn't even review the claim, they just took my stream down. That's how unprofessional they are at Twitch. And it's hilarious because so many people use it. It's known as like the biggest, best place to stream. And literally, it's the most unprofessional. It's terrible over there. So that being said, um, being on YouTube for a year, it's been a rough ride. Those first few months in particular, two, three months starting up, was really rough. But what's happened is over the year, things have just gotten progressively better and better and better. I've improved the product that I put out based on your direct feedback. So thank you so much, everyone, for all the feedback you give me on a daily basis, the suggestions, the, the, the events and things that we're doing as a result of you guys suggesting them, right? Um, <clears throat> and, you know, we've done our best with what's available here on YouTube, right? We've done our best. When I say we, I mean me, you, and my moderating team to try to put out a safe, fun environment for streaming every day. It's hard, because they're, they doesn't have all the tools and all the things that you have on Twitch. It, you really can't even, um, you can't even see, like, for example, right now, let's say someone that types something questionable in the chat. And you're like, yeah, I wonder what that meant, what they meant by that. Could that have been something harmful? I'm just curious. On Twitch, you click on their name, it shows you their whole chat history. So you can see, do they have a history of saying dumb shit in the chat and being insulting or whatever? Or was this a one-off thing or was this a misunderstanding? You can review that history. You can even see, have they ever been banned before or whatever? None of that exists on YouTube. Zero. Nothing like that at all. On YouTube, you can't permanently ban someone. They can come in, be stupid, you ban them, they create another account, come right back. You see? That's why I have to have things in place on YouTube to help protect the channel, like sub-only mode and things like that. Um... <clears throat> It just is really dumb that YouTube doesn't step up and actually try to compete with Twitch because I really don't feel like they have. They, they could, within a month of work, and I yes, it would take work, but within a month of work, they could completely improve and redesign the streaming process here on YouTube to make it equivalent to Twitch. I fully believe that. But they're too busy with their fucking attention on stupid fake TikTok videos and shorts and doing all kinds of dumb shit that doesn't benefit people who make a living here. Instead, they just wanted to do, nonsensically try to copy every website on the planet. And what it is, is they get, they get an idea and they start with it, and they don't th go through with it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? They, they, ha they half think of an idea, launch the idea, and never finish it. They wanted to compete with Twitch. They said, here's streaming. They launch it, but then they never refine it to be as good as Twitch. They just kind of leave it as is and they work on other projects. And you'll never succeed like that. You can't just get the ball rolling and lead it just roll itself and never expect that you need to ever touch the ball ever again. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, the deal is that I really have enjoyed being here for the last year. As rough as it is making stuff work similarly to how you, the competition does. Um, although admittedly, as you guys have seen, you know, viewership, it can be way low, especially for a game that's not a huge AAA release because there's no exposure here on YouTube. I tell you guys how important engagement is, right? That liking the videos, 
liking the streams, leaving comments on them. Those things are huge for engagement. If you don't do those things, you can't even be found on YouTube. And of course, on YouTube, there's the toxic element. People being nasty, toxic, and insulting actually will have priority in a YouTube search over the original content that it's being toxic and insulting against every time. It's not even an exception. Like, every time you'll find the drama video, the drama documentary, the insult video, the, all that will always come up first before the subject matter. It's really stupid. <clears throat> But it is what it is. You got to deal with it if you're going to be on YouTube. And the trade-off is, I don't have to deal with the unprofessionalism of Twitch. Oh, at any moment you get punished for something you didn't do. Oh, you're punished, but we're not even going to tell you what you did. Fuck off. I don't want to deal with a place like that. I'll take all the shortcomings of YouTube streaming and work here. I've been here for now almost a full year doing it and had little to no problems, right? As opposed to on Twitch, at least a few times a year I would have something stupid happening over there. You know? <clears throat> so, there you go. Um, okay, Meow, I see your second tip. 